Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons. And this is the second video in the set of videos where I'm showing you how to put together a boundary survey plan exhibit as part of a field package and how to do that in AutoCAD Civil 3D. I've got some other videos that show you how to do that in Inkscape. And this is the, the um, second video in the set. The first video we laid out the sheet one which had our standard nodes and our table of search points and kind of the vicinity map. So in this video, I'm gonna we're gonna lay out sheet two, which you can see here. Here's sheet two. And we actually move this table to the first sheet so we can delete this. Uh, but I, I went ahead and did some setup because I didn't want to bore you guys to death. So I edited this title block to match the first sheet and I dropped in the um, aerial images like we did in the first video and I went ahead and added some approximate center lines and and the side lines here the the block boundaries of our block <clears throat> and so what we're going to do in this video now is we're going to lay the rest of this out so what I want to do we want to show our existing control I'm going to try and do that to the best of my ability it's gonna be a little bit tough but we'll try and figure that out and then we're going to add uh, some monuments that we should be able to provide survey grade stakeout for, and then uh, we'll have some monuments that may not have survey grade take stakeout that we would like to look for, and then we'll just have some general notes as well. Okay, so let's uh, let's try and add our control. And actually, to do that, we need to open up Trimble Business Center and look at the raw data. So we did go out, and I think we tied four corners before. So I want to. Uh, be able to identify those corners that we'll have good stakeout on and hopefully some of our control is still there. It's been a couple years, but we'll, we'll at least look for it. Now this is a, a little bit tough because uh, we don't, we're not able to have this on a, on an aerial, uh, but I believe this line here runs roughly along Santa Cruz. Uh, so we had a control point here. So we've got one here, and then we've got one down here. Let's see what these are. So this is a mag, and this is a mag too, I think. Yeah, let's see how far this is. I think I know roughly where this corner is. So let's inverse this. And we, we may not be able to show this control, but we're gonna try. All right, so we're 80 feet. Let's see if we can figure out where that's at in AutoCAD. So I believe that corner is this corner. I would think that mag would be over here. Let's see, 80 feet right in there. I bet you it's. Uh, I bet you it sits right in there. So, <laughs> who knows if the guys will be able to find this? But we're gonna try it. Uh, all right. So, and um, I actually know this is number. Uh, this is number six. And let's see. And we've got a number four. This one's going to be a little tougher. So I think that's here. Control point number four. And I'm going to let the field crew know if they can't find those mags relatively quick to not to worry about it. All right. Okay, then we've got some monuments that we want to look for. And you know what I'm actually, what I'm going to do on these? I'm actually, whoop, I'm actually going to pull these out and leader them in 
so that this symbol's not covering up important stuff. So let's run leader. That's a little big, and I don't like these annotative leaders. And we're at an 80 scale. So I think that control point's in here, but I'm not positive. And let's get this on the right layer. And we'll just copy this leader up. We'll do the same thing up here. I'm just going to move this off a little bit. I think that control point sits in there. Okay. And then we have some corners that we want to look for. So... Those and these corners, let's see, I'm trying to figure out which ones we got stakeout grade values on. So we've got one here, close, whoop. One close to here that does not have stakeout grade. And then we've got a couple here that do. So we'll edit these numbers in a sec. <clears throat> All right, so let's, uh, let's drop our leaders in here. So we should have a monument. The back corner of this lot. <clears throat> And I know that's roughly 130 feet, so we'll check that. It's actually five feet out, so it's probably right in here. Then we found one here. And there's a six by six concrete monument over here. And I think I can pull that distance. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to tell. It's roughly 90 feet from here. 90 feet from that point. So it's probably... Yeah, probably right in here. So just trying to get the guys close. They'll have some stake out too, if they can find the control. <clears throat> All right, then we got a monument somewhere in here at uh, the other corner of this lot. OK, 
Okay, and then um, this corner is set inside the lot, so I'm not going to look for that. It's a witness monument that's offset from the actual corner. Okay, then I have a couple corners down here. And you know what? To be honest with you, I don't know which one of these we found. So I need to make them both circles. But there should be one roughly in here. And I gotta make this a circle because I, I don't know which of these two corners we found. So there should be another corner right in here. Okay. Now we've got, we do have some property corner, some center line monuments I want to look for that we do not have survey grade coordinates for. So we've got this guy down here. We've got a monument here we want to look for. And then we've got, let's see, this one over here we got to fix. So I want to look for that center line. <clears throat> and then there are there are a couple center line monuments in here we want to look for. At least one that we do not have stakeout for. And we're going to identify what all these are uh, in a bit here. All right, now we're going to number these, and I want to I want to stick with the same numbers we had before. So this one's eight. This one is ten. This one is nine. I'm not sure one of these is four. And one is seven. No, let's see. Uh, let's see. I think that's going to be 11. This is seven. Sorry. We didn't look for this one, so I can call that 12. We didn't look for this one yet, so that'll be 13. Okay, then we've got... Uh, we didn't find this one, so that can be... Next number is 14. We didn't look for this one or find it, so that'll be 15. Okay, now... <clears throat> there aren't per record any monuments at this center line intersection, but I just want to hum around there because that's the kind of surveyor I am. So we're going to give that a number as well. That'll be 16. Okay, so I believe that's all of the monuments that I want to look for. Now I do want to add some, uh, I do want to look for some occupation. I do want to shoot some occupation, so I actually need another symbol. So let me do a little bit of cleanup, and then uh, I'll restart the video. Okay, guys, so let me catch you up. Went ahead and did some additional work here. So you can see I added some street names. This is to the second sheet. I made this new square symbol here for survey notes. I added a note here, note two, and then I added note one here and here. If we go over into the paper space layout, you can see I've added a wipeout here and some notes. So survey note one is to shoot curbs on both sides of Sherman and Abbey Avenue. 
Note 2 tells the guys to shoot the fences at the edge of the right-of-way on all sides of the block so I can check the fences against some interior uh, lot lines. Okay, so the only thing I notice here is that it doesn't look like I'm going to fit in that road label. So let's zoom extents on this layout, and then we'll come over here and get rid of that. So we can't see that, but that's okay. We've got it in the vicinity map. So I'm going to pan this to a good location here and save it. Okay, then we're going to go back into our boundary survey plan, which is uh, the first sheet, sorry, the first sheet of the boundary survey plan. Um, so it turns out I did have some existing control. So you can see I went ahead and added those two points, number four and eight, the coordinates there. Um, the other thing we need to do here still is we need to update our search area details and then update our search priority. And then we're about finished up. So let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> and what makes this a little easier, uh, sorry, is uh, to just run a PDF plot of this so I can look at it on my other monitor while we're updating those, uh, we're updating that point information. Oh, one thing I forgot to do is put a fade on this background image. So let's do that. So if you grab your images, um, you come over here to your properties, you can hit this fade property. I like to run that up to about 60, 62. Looks like I'm missing, yeah, I got some missing images here. So let's fade those two. That just makes it easier to read the diagram. Oh, and I can see uh, I got an issue here because I can't fit all my stuff, can I? Ah. All right, so I need to move this label up and I need to move this label down. So here's a, just a little trick. You can put a rectangle over the rough limits of your viewport. And then if you run the CH space, change space command, it'll drop that into your model space. That'll kind of give you the bounds you got to work with here. So you can see this needs to come over. Oop. Uh, let's see. corner right in there and then let's see this one needs to move up because we can't see that All right, then we can just delete that line now that we know everything's fitting. So if we come back here, things should fit a little better. Okay, so we just want to run a plot of this. So let's take a look at that, see. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and plot it. Okay, so we should have a PDF there that we can use. I just want to be able to look at these corners when I'm filling out my search details. So let's, I pulled that off. You guys can't see it. It's on the other page. Let's jump back over here. We'll zoom extents and save first. Okay, and I like to try and do these in numerical order for the crews. <coughs> So let's see if we can figure out what our first point's going to be. So it looks like our first point's number seven. Okay, and then we number these search points correspondingly. Okay, and actually, if I, if I don't have survey grade stakeout, they aren't going to get a point number. So I'm going to say none on this one. Actually, you know what? I've got a record map and some 
and some points. I should be able to give them a search point for everything. Okay, and our reference is the record doc that shows the mon. So this is going to be a corner record. Two seven five nine, and that is a brass nail and tag. LS five five seven one. Okay, next number up is number eight. Oop. And that it will be eleven oh eight. And that actually comes off a record map. That's a record of survey thirty eight sixty eight. Okay, and it's actually the uh, same kind of monument, so we can just copy this one down. Okay, and then we've got uh, next number up is number nine. And so that'll be 1109. And it'll be. Uh, that same record of survey. And this is a six by six inch by six inch concrete monument. Okay, next number after that is number 10. And let's see, I'm gonna delete these. And cause I think most of my references now are gonna be this record of survey. So number 10 is a aluminum nail same LS number Okay then we have number 11 will be up next Search number 1111. And <coughs> let's see, that is a, uh, it's actually a brass nail. So we can copy that one, brass nail with the same tag. Okay, then we've got number 12. Is a uh, brass cap in Monwell at center line. And number 13 search number is 1113. Same record reference. This is a found bolt. It's a bolt at center line. Hopefully, it's not paved over. And 14. Same record reference on 14. That is a nail and brass tag. And, 
Okay, so now I ran out of rows, which happens. So I'm going to copy some more rows here. Looks like we can fit three more, maybe. Nope. Okay, and then we just got to do a little bit of table cleanup here. Okay, so almost done, 15. Oop. Is, let's see, 15 is, I don't know if it's in a Monwell, but it is a brass tag at, uh, is it a tag or this? It's a nail and tag. Brass nail and tag at center line. Okay, and then number 16, I think is our last one. And that is going to have no reference. Um, because we're just looking for a monument. There's nothing to record there, but it's at a center line, center line intersection. So search for any monument. Okay. All right. And we don't have a 17, so we can delete that out of our table. All right. Cool. So this should be, oh, we got to do our search priority. So search priority on this, man. They've all got about the same priority. i tell you what I'm going to do, though, on these is I'm going to make my priority those monuments that I know we haven't found yet. So that will be 13. It'll be 11. 13, 14, 15, and 16. So those are all the monuments that we haven't found. Those will be first priority. And then these are the other mods, uh, some of these mods we found. So we found 7, 8. And this is just a guideline if you've got two monuments that are right next to each other. Obviously, you can tie those in even if they're different priority. We found 10. Uh, let's see. I think that's it. So I need to add a couple here. So we haven't, f we haven't tied out number 9 yet. We also haven't tied out number 12. All right, cool. So we got our priorities in there. So we're done with this bad boy, done with this boundary survey plan. So we're going to save that, and we're going to run our PDF plot. We'll have our sheet one and two. Oh, we need to fade our image. Forgot to do that. So let's jump over to model space. We need to put our fade on that image. So, like I said, I like to do about 60 or 62 on those. Seems to work well. All right. Uh, let's save before we plot. All right. Looks good. Don't think I need any changes. We're going to go ahead and say plot. And that is going to be... Sheet one of the boundary survey plan. Okay, so we should be done in AutoCAD. I'm going to save that, and I'll show you guys these show you uh, guys these two PDFs. So here's sheet one. 
existing control, search area details, vicinity map, legend, purpose of the survey, methods for control, method for property corner ties, notes on site access, address of the site, the search priority. Sheet number two has the surveyor notes here, identifies all the monuments that need to be searched for. So survey note, search area here, this octagon shape has good stakeout, the circles have approximate stakeout, and I'll put together a stakeout file and need to do some Kogo before I'm ready to do that. So, All right, guys, I appreciate you watching the videos. I know that was a long one. It's about three times as long as normal, about 30 minutes. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys how I put together those new boundary survey plans in AutoCAD Civil 3D. There will be more videos to come soon. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.